Hi everyone, this is Gail with Pretty Presets, and today I just wanted to show you how I correct color casts in Lightroom. Now it's really pretty simple, and I think Lightroom's made it a lot more simple in the last few years, but you can see I have a picture here of a boy who obviously has a sunburn. Um, this was a dance picture that I took in the spring. So if he didn't have any color cast from a sunburn, he was bound to have some color cast anyway because it's a bright sunny day and he's sitting under a red overhang and he has on a red shirt. So we're just going to correct this using the brush tool in Lightroom. So I'm going to select my adjustment brush. It's over here. If I, if I have my basic panel open, it's right above the basic panel. It's the tool clear over on the right hand side. So I'm going to click on that. The first thing I'm going to do is come down here to my color box and I am going to select a color that I know will counteract red and that's green. So I'm just going to select a green color here. Um, for this, I usually keep it below 10% for a normal red color cast. I happen to know that this sunburn is going to take me a few times to fix. so. I'm probably okay leaving it a little bit high. Some other things that you can do is you can adjust the tint towards the green side just a little bit. That will help you correct a color cast. Um, sometimes I even bump the exposure just a touch, just to brighten it. I think in this case, his skin is already bright, so I don't need to do that necessarily. So I'm going to zoom in on their faces a little bit. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna begin painting and I can see the color cast is in his hair. Now, don't panic if you don't see stuff happening. I know it will. Um, I want to be careful where I'm painting though, so I'm going to remove it off some areas where I really don't want it, where I'm not seeing a lot of cast. Okay, but I do see it on the top of his head. I see it on the top of her head. So I'm gonna come over here and paint all over her, top of her head. In her part and I have this huge her hair is not dyed red but it looks bright red right down here in this area so I'm going to work on that um, if I, I don't always need to see my overlay but sometimes it helps me know exactly where to paint I'm seeing a little bit on her forehead um, I see a little bit in her eyebrows as well so I'm going to paint over her eyebrows and a little bit on her cheeks. So I'm gonna come back and <laughs> keep focusing on him. There's some right here on his shoulder, and then quite obviously right here on his nose, under his eye, and up here on his forehead. I can see it in his eyebrows. And I don't, I'm going to come over here and paint a little bit on his ear because his ear is quite red too. Probably from the sunburn. Okay, so this has done a pretty good job. I can turn on my overlay again if I want to see if there's any areas, more areas that I want to do. I could maybe do a little bit right down here on his cheek, the tops of his eyelids. Let's turn my overlay off and see what we've got here. Okay, so we're, we're looking better. We're not perfectly fixed, but we're looking better. So I'm going to click new and I'm gonna leave my settings just the same. And you can layer brushes. And in this case, I, that's exactly what I've gotta do. I'm gonna come up here. I've still got a lot of red in his hair, okay? That red overhang is right above him. So I'm just gonna to have to come down here and do quite a bit over his hair. If I want to erase it off of any parts, if I think any parts are looking a little too green, I can erase it, but there are still some parts that even could use more. So I'm going to keep working on his face, right here on his forehead, a little bit above his eye, down his nose, and under his eye, which are the worst, right there in the corner of his, okay on his shoulder and then let's come over here we're going to work on her hair just a little bit more this area down here where her hair looks completely a completely different color 
some of this is looking a little bit too green so I may go back and take it off a little bit but you can see it was pretty bad to begin with let's maybe erase right in here and right up here okay so I think we're doing a little bit better here with the hair just double click and make sure I've hit all the areas with my overlay. I'm going to do one more pass. So I'm going to click new again and I'm going to do one more. I have a little bit here still up in his hair that's just not going anywhere. And I'm going to pass over his nose just a teeny bit more. And maybe right underneath his eye. His eye is a little bit here. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the before and after. So if I click on my Y to show you my before and after, you can see the difference. I mean, this is just night and day. <laughs> That's a crazy sunburn. And, and just a little bit with a brush can help me quickly fix fix all those color cast areas. I'm also knowing, noticing there's some red color cast on the top of the bar here. I'll probably go back and fix that. But just a little bit with your brushes and you can fix these color casts in Lightroom. So some other color casts you might notice in your photos if you're ever shooting anywhere where there's a lot of green, such as grass or trees, it's very likely that you'll get some color casting bouncing up on your subjects that's a green color cast. Um, occasionally I have the same issue with yellow leaves and yellow. One thing to note is that Pretty Presets is all about saving you time. So if you go into your brushes, oops, I just exited out of my brush, and come down here, if you have the baby brushes, the baby brushes have some Kiss Away the Purple, Kiss Away the Red, Jaundice Red Remedy. These can also help with color casts. Um, the Color Lux set has some that can help with color cast. The Enchanted Garden has some brushes that can help you counteract um, color casts. So uh, specifically correct orange red. Um, if you come down here to the portrait brushes, so the portrait brushes either from the Clean Edit Portrait Collection or just the portrait brushes all on their own, they are both going to have um, brushes to help you correct color casts and then um, specifically I can show you fixed cast blue, fixed cast green, fixed cast red, fixed cast yellow. Same thing with the clean edit brushes. There are reduced red casts, reduced magenta casts, reduced green casts. You don't have to worry about figuring out the settings. Just click on these and paint. The same with the sugar and spice set. So several of our brush collections have brushes that will help you with this process of correcting color casts when you get them. I hope this is helpful. I hope it helps you correct your images and process your um, edits more quickly.